God damn it. We're not drinking the same thing tonight. I really shouldn't be doing this at all. <laughs> Hear that voice? It's not a man, it's Aaron, everybody. Aaron with two A's. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, She's lost her voice a little bit, but that's okay. There's honey and lemon and um, whiskey in there, so it's going to work for her. She got um, sick. I did get her sick. Oops. Oops. Remember the other day whenever I posted <laughs> that someone brought me food? Yeah. And I tagged him, one of my friends, and you guys are creepy <laughs> AF because over 2,500 people went to tab and see who that was. Everybody wants to know who you tagged. Who did, because I put, put, I put a heart. Like, I put, I just put his name and I put little hearts like, oh yeah, I'm feeling so loved. You did put little hearts. Because he sent me food and that is the way of my heart, to be honest. That was well, a good spread. It, it was. She it was. wasn't feeling well and one of our guy friends sent her a bunch of food. So They're going to get married one day. They just, <laughs> she doesn't know it yet. Maybe. <laughs> if I have anything to do with it. I mean, I mean, if you keep sending me food, I don't know. I need healthier food, though. Mm -hmm. I do love some fries, though. We did pick out. It was great. We ate it all. Oh, we need someone, we need someone to send it food for you now, now, now that you're not feeling good. I'll buy my own food. I've been taking care of you. You have me. You so got me sick. <laughs> someone, someone today said, are oh, you going home to your wife? And I said, pretty much, yes. <laughs> so I'm actually picking her up, um medicine on the way home so you did thank you you're welcome i like to take care of people yeah you sure do <laughs> man uh well the reason that we got that i got sick was because i was feeling sick and i didn't want to go out and i was like no, no no we gotta go out so we went out with some of our guy friends last weekend on a sunday nonetheless <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but but that night they were telling us how Guys are so intimidated to go up to girls, and that, and they're like, right now, no guys want to come up to you guys because, it, because it's like intimidating. I said, well, of course, because you guys are right here with us. Why would they come up? And they're like, no, no, no. We would rather come up to girls that are with guys, like in a group of a setting with guys, as opposed to like a huge group of girls, which blew our minds. Blew our minds. Like what? I'm so confused. Well, and this started because we were walking out of one bar to go somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else, and this girl on our way out, shook one of our guy friend's hand and passed him a napkin with her phone number on it. Dude. Which like pretty ballsy. If I think I'm me. gonna steal that to be honest. I don't think it's like stealing. It's been a thing for oh. a very long time. <laughs> well, where, like you could slide it. Yeah. yeah. I like that. It's old school. Because then you don't have to get turned down IRL in real life. Oh turned down. I thought you said turned on. Oh <laughs> a napkin? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, and we were like, do you like that? And they love it because yeah. they get intimidated. Yeah. Which is crazy. Because we want you to come up to us. Yeah. We went, someone came up to someone came up to you last night and you went on like a spontaneous <laughs> date. Was it a date? <laughs> was it not a date? I don't know. I don't know what it was. I was <laughs> waiting for her to get a cab with me. Two floors above her, and she was somewhere else. Just left without. No, I me. said that so I was you talking didn't to this say, person. You said I'm talking to him. You didn't say I might go get a drink. Go home. It just happened. I'm not going home. I didn't know. I didn't know it was happening. Like, but it was fun, and I don't know if it was a date. I was worried something. sick about you. We share our locations, and did you just search where I was at? Yeah, over and over, <laughs> and the entire time it showed that you were like in the middle of Madison Avenue, and I was like. <laughs> She got hit by a car. Her phone's in the middle of the street. I hope she's at a good hospital. Wow. And then I went to bed because I felt like shit. I know. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I heard you come in and eat snacks, though. So I did come in and eat snacks. Um, but you went because someone came up to you and you went on a spontaneous, I think it was a date, <laughs> and had a great time. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So that was, a, that was good. You know, spontaneous came up to me. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Would you... He came up to you because you had just taught class and was like, let's go get a drink, mm -hmm. which is not something I you normally do. I didn't teach class. Do. I took class. You yeah. took class, which isn't something you would normally do. No. Would you have gone out with him if he approached you in the same manner via DM? This person, probably. Because it was specifically him. But, like, I, I don't know. I'm uncomfortable right now. And you just went and got two drinks and had a great time. Uh -huh. And some french fries. And important. French fries. Very what important. would you have said if you ran into your friend? 
Well, <laughs> not like me, but like friends. Uh, you've been like, I'm on a spontaneous date. Or, or well, like, this person knows some, some, like, some of my friends, so I wouldn't have been that weird, I guess. Um, no, I feel like I would have been fine running. If I run into friends, I guess, on a date, I don't know, it's not really happened. Um, I wouldn't be uncomfortable. But, like, running into friends, I wouldn't be uncomfortable. But uh, speaking about a different date, not that, not this date anymore. Or what is this, no, this, this hangout? This fucking hangout. I hate everyone right Love now. I hate everyone in this moment. Okay, keep going. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Um, if I was on a date with anyone and I ran into my friends, I would think that's fine. But, like, meeting your friends, like, figuring out when to meet friends is a different situation. You can tell a lot about someone whenever you meet their friends. I learned so much about people. I mean, when people meet you, they're like, this business, we gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> no, they don't. They love I'm me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But they're um, like, oh, it's confirmed. Just, She's oh, wild. <laughs> this makes sense now. Everything. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's so important when you meet friends. And that's like an easy thing. Like, I, it's so... If, I introduced someone to you and you were like, what are you doing with this person? I'd be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Same thing with well, that. Until you're foo, foo, until you're <laughs> too far deep and then you don't listen to me. Yeah, but. But at the beginning, I feel like you do listen to me. Okay, first of all, you are always shooting, you're always firing shots at me on this. I'm so sorry. But I'm also, I'm actually very positive about the relationships we go into. Mm. The friendships, the dating. Yeah. When do you think it's too soon to oh, meet a friend? Oh, I can't put you on the spot, <laughs> but you can put me on the spot. Um, too soon to meet friends. I was at one time, oh, I went on a date with one guy, one time, one time, and I think he was going out of town soon or something. We were talking about hanging out, but it was your birthday, and you're like, just invite him to my birthday. Invite him with everybody. And I was like, absolutely not. It's too soon. I can't do that. Do you recall that? That was this year. I'm trying really hard to remember who it was. I said on Sunday to bring him over when we were on the roof. Yes. He's long gone. Um, just a one day wonder. <laughs> but but that I was like, absolutely not. I can't do that. Like that's too uncomfortable for me to invite him over for my best friend's birthday when we've been on one date. Um That would have been a great I have no idea who you're talking about, but that would have been a great day to invite someone over because we literally just it was so much fun, but over. yeah. Who was it? It was just someone. Can't you just put your hand in front of the camera? Yeah. And tell me? Oh, yeah. He <laughs> would have really totally ruined the mood. Wouldn't have worked. Anyway. Um, but but like that was too early for me. Um, I don't know. I guess like I think it's important though, like when they meet your friends, because typically if you've hung out with someone for a second, you're like going on dates. You're like grabbing drinks, but there's one thing to do that, and there's a whole another thing when you're like out with a group of friends. Like, how do they hold themselves? Like, yeah. are they out introducing themselves to everyone? Are they like sitting in a corner and you have to take care of them? No, are they gonna no. get shit faced? What happens if they do? Are they fun or are they a disaster? Are they mean to people? Like, what if the waitress messes up their drink? That's what the worst. Oh my god, goodbye. Be a nice human being. Yeah. Just be nice. Be a nice human being. But I feel like you learn so much about yeah. somebody in that moment. Yeah. No, it's true. That was a I'm very, we haven't given an answer on when it's I know. So I, I can't think because I'm trying to think. You've met maybe one person since we've been like best friends. I feel like you've met, you and Julia and Cam have met one person that I like have whatever hung out with. Um, and y'all liked, oh no, it was just you and Julia. Two. Um, two. Where's the other one? Now I'm confused. But I've met some of yours, and I feel like it was very early on. Which was, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't decide. Hmm. I guess it depends on, like, how serious you are, how fast. Yeah, but you and I don't count. Like, you, like, <laughs> we're like, come over. <laughs> Do you want to come have Sunday game day with us? Friend? If you know you're invited to Sunday game day, you're in. then you're in. Yeah. You're in. Very few people get that invite. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I, I, I don't know. I feel like we never have exact answers, and we didn't need to figure this out. Yeah. But it just depends on the situation. It does. What about, like, your siblings? Ooh. 
My, well, that's harder because if your family lives not near you, then it's like an actual, like you're in a serious <laughs> relationship, like you're coming home with me. Right. Um, that's like at least I, a year. You know what? No, the um, my ex, he met my family. He came home with me maybe five months after we were dating. Mm-hmm. Five months. He, he flew into Texas. We lived in California. He flew to Texas and met my family. But just when you think you know, yeah. you know. <laughs> when you think you know. Yeah, he flew in the Texas, met my family, met a ton of my, like, my high school friends, college friends. Um, yeah. And here we are. But didn't mean I had grandma. That was a big thing until like five years in. Because then you gotta apply to another state for that. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I meet family early. I kind of like meeting family early. I think then, you know, then you know what you're in for. Yeah. Um, I met the sister, I met his sister on our second date. That's like the hardest approval to get. That was so, so scary yeah. for me. I oh my God. I that over with. That was when so I like, don't really care and I'm not really invested. Meet, but we're good friends now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? What are you in for You said a year. To go back to Nebraska. Yeah. yeah, I say that, but like I don't know. Now it's I feel like I like if I know, I know like yeah. what I'm interested in. We've we've been chatting about recently. Well, now that we're older, but we were saying that we like we're in these really long relationships, which we haven't really talked about, I guess. But we both were in pretty serious relationships prior to us living together and being single. But um, and you know, it took a while to realize. Okay, this isn't this isn't forever this isn't what I want anymore whatever but now we've been talking about how when you're older like we're not I'm not gonna hopefully I'm not in a six-year relationship again before I get engaged and get married and have kids like, yeah, I, hope I hope not but like how does that happen and it's just you grow through all these things you find all these things that you don't want I think in a partner partner and don't work um in a relationship uh for you and I think that that's why it excels faster because you know exactly what you want now yeah, and I think, too, you're, like, less likely to put up with things that maybe you would have put yeah. up with when you were younger or, like, yeah. a different way to be yeah. treated. Yeah. Oh, my God. I put up with oh, so many, so many things. Yeah. So many bad things um, that now I just, like, lay the line. You're out. Yeah. Strike one. You're out. You don't get three strikes. Mine sometimes get, like, 17, but I'm getting better. Well, yeah, we got to work on that. <laughs> we got to be a one strike year out. One strike. Yeah. I think that's it for now. Can I take a nap now? Yeah, you can take a nap. Actually, I'm so close to you right now. Can I get sick? Can I get sick again? Can Can I get re-sick? No. Thank God. But if you can, I'm going to cough on you because you deserve it. No, I didn't even cough on you. You made me go out. It's your fault. You're welcome. I'm sorry for sounding like a boy. Yeah, it's okay. Not you, though. Aaron with the E. You want to take just one more sip before you go to sleep? It'll help you sleep. It's like NyQuil, but... um, Alcohol. But alcohol. <laughs> it just makes you pass out. <laughs>